I, I, I like I like when you rub this ag- I said I'm not doing some shit some other motherfucker did <laughs> Nigga you my girl now Bitch <laughs> I'm, I'm nibbling the back of your kneecap So you can tell the next nigga that you like <laughs> You like back of your kneecap nigga Nibbles I, what your fuck? I said niggles <laughs> Plus, Holy shit I hope you been trying to get rid of this shit No, last no I mean, it's classic. No, it, Honestly it's great I mean we could do another half hour uh, There are guys taking notes out yeah, there at the tree. Nighthawk yeah, I just want to agree with Patrice. I'm a truck driver. I do stay on the road to get away from my bitchy wife I've been married to for 17 years. Hey. See that, Ohio? See that, Ohio. Miss Ohio? She, no, you, I'm from Tennessee. No, 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 not you. The, the, there was Janet. There was, there was Jan. There was a lady that called in earlier. Her husband yep. was a truck driver. And it's like, yeah, you, you, it's a perfect job to have a... Because you know what? How can you have a job where you long... Like you driving and you long to see your wife. Yeah. You understand? It's like you would never be a fucking truck driver. Yo, man, I'm a work in a fucking warehouse before I be on the road six days a week from from my beautiful, lovely yeah. woman. There are jobs where all of a sudden you're sent away from your wife or girlfriend or something and you're just like ripped apart. They're at the airport. No, oh, man, yeah, man. And this is choosing to leave his wife on a daily basis. Yeah. <laughs> and drive 1,500 miles a day yeah, away yeah. and deal and sleep in the back and risk getting killed at a rest stop. And, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and, and, and it's like, but I love it. You know what? Every guy out there, I understand this because I lo- it's not loving you is easy. I love my girl. The thing is, like, constantly liking her. <laughs> Constantly liking her is the is what the problem is. Relationships. I love. She knows when you you love your because you fucking bring money home to her. You bring you home to her. But but that doesn't mean like if I bring myself home to. Can't you fucking just do what I need to do to keep me fueled up to be a man that you can be attracted to? That's what the fuck is going on, ladies. Not that we don't love you. Not that I'm a fucking caveman. It's just just don't think that I'm supposed to do shit. I'm not supposed to do a fucking thing. <laughs> but don't, aren't there times in a relationship that your girl does something and it and it 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 it, it, it evokes some type of not in your mind, it, it consumes your body how much you don't like her at the moment. And it's not even tangible. But it's things like eating. Uh yes, waiter, I'll have a steak, some chicken, and uh Caesar salad. And then what have sweet? Uh I have a salad and I just eat some yours. Uh, it's like bitch, no, you <laughs> won't. <laughs> That's codependency that's inf- infiltrating my space. Get your own. I'll pay double. Order your own fucking chicken. Order the oh same chicken God. that I get so you don't taste mine because I see what you're doing. You think that that shit is like something. It, you know I didn't even identify that as anything but her it's going. Control. I'm not going to eat it up. But you see it with like x-ray vision. You have fucking... You have, like, vision like bugs have. We look, we see this. Bugs look. There's all kinds of fucking fluorescent (laughs) shit and infrared and ultraviolet. That's how Patrice sees shit. I see a girl going, you know... I'm really not that hungry. I'll get a salad. I'll eat some of your food so it's not so expensive. He's this controlling fucking bitch. Yes. He's being codependent through his fucking ultra vision. That's right. Goes but, right to the DNA. But, right goes right to the DNA. Because, it, because it's a good feeling. You feel how you feel. Feelings are real. So if you feel something and you're a rational person, you go, oh, hey, usually I'm a rational dude, so, but I'm feeling something right now. Yeah. It's like, you know, sometimes I might overreact. Fucking, it might be three times out of ten or some shit. I might be wrong on it. But it's like, look, why are you eating from my, it's a, it's a ours. It's a. It's a. It's something of yours that's now mine. I never would have thought of that so, in a well, million I don't, years. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if you're not hungry. Order, order ten steaks, <laughs> and we'll put it in a bag or we'll throw it away. But you're not fucking not order it's so that you can eat this off is, my. That's what we're gonna try to do. It. Two more phone calls, and then we're gonna take a break because we've we've been going like an hour and a half here. All right. Susan in Vegas. Damn. Hi, I have a question for Patrice. Yeah. I've been having an affair with this guy for quite a while, and his wife is like the woman from Ohio. Mm-hmm. She's a total bitch. Everything is everything is about her. She's the center of her own universe, and I'm the total opposite. And I'm wondering if you think that maybe I'm playing my cards right, and he might actually smarten up and leave her one day. No, uh, I'll tell you why. Mm-hmm. Because every man, every woman, everything wants to have his cake and eat it too. You ought to eat it too. It's like unless you. Um, give him an uh, uh, ultimatum, which is not the ultimatum like, hey, 
you going to leave her, me or him. What you do is you love yourself enough to leave. You don't make a big deal out of it. You go, sweetie, I understand your wife and you love me too, but you know what? Time is ticking for me, and I'm just going to... I'm just going to go. And uh-huh. you go with love. The ultimatum. You go with love. You don't say fucking leave him or me. You just go with love. You just, you know, it was great. Just be good to me, basically, which a lot of women don't like. You know, remember that song? Just be good to me. Mm-hmm. Friends, tell me I am crazy that I'm wasting <laughs> time with you. You'll never be mine. But he's treating you good. That's what the thing is. He's treating you how you want to be treated. But if you want more, don't say you want more because you got to understand our thing is not our body. We give our bodies freely. He's not giving you anything that he gives a fuck about. Time is what's important to us. The more time you can get him to spend with you, the more important you are to him. So right now, he doesn't want to give. It's just like a woman that doesn't want to take it in the ass. It's like, <laughs> I give you some pussy, but I don't want to go to the ass. That's all right. He's giving you dinner and a mood and sneaking around from mm-hmm. time to time. But he's not giving you the ass, which is him, which is the title. And she wants that, And you want the title, but you can't, just like a guy can't force ass fucking on you, you can't force time on him. You can't rate time. So you got to, like, step back and allow him to desire to give you you that time. The ultimatum doesn't work. Don't give the ultimatum. Don't give the ultimatum. And the have your cake and eat it too thing that you brought up is interesting. What if cake is drunk? (laughs) <laughs> what if the God. cake is drunk? It's that rum cake. Now, it's rum cake, it's that rum and it's cake, drunk. And it's made with scotch. And the cake, <laughs> the cake gives you an ultimatum. <laughs> you want to see how fast you run out the fucking door and leave that cake to rot by itself? Oh, you buy frosting for that every three months, <laughs> and it costs a lot. <laughs> but you will run from that fucking drunk cake. <laughs> wow. Yeah, just, and right to the cupcake. Just wa- <laughs> sweetie, just just walk away without him feeling like he's being pressured because that a lot of people, like a lot of women, do that. They they don't want to mm-hmm. just break up with you. They want you to be an asshole, so you they hate you. They don't want to just walk away. Don't don't try to do something to like fuck him up so that he, like okay like call his fucking house and, oh, yeah, and that say that you're the girlfriend no. so that he fucking hates you and then said you fucking uh, cunt die die and you go fuck you fuck you and then you feel better because it, it it was like oh he's an asshole I can hate him now yeah. what you do is look you know what the fuck you was in there was no the contract you just you just got caught up you're in love now. Put it on you. Step off. Just say, okay, I'm I'm going to be done with this part of what we're doing. Yeah. And that's the only way you're going to get him to go, you know what, I left my fucking wife. But then to really be honest, sweetie, if he left his wife, would you really still be into him as much as you into him now? All right, here we go. Would you? Uh, she's Jean- gone. Last- oh. uh, Jeannie, New York, finally. Hi. Uh, I've been married for a year and a half, been with the same guy for five years. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Patrice for finally saying the way it is. I think the key to a good relationship is that the woman has to realize that this is the way it is. Wow, look at that. Yep, and a lot of women feel that. But it's hard to just, it's hard for a woman. That goes against everything about women in this society now. Right, right. Which is to to submit to a man or to be humble to a man. It's against what we do. And so what she's saying is just nature. She's attracted to her man because she can't run over the motherfucker. She love him because she can't stomp on his guts. That's why she's into him. That's why my girl's into me because she can't abuse me. 